Hey, Papyrus Queen. Hi. Me and Janessa back again. Um, Yay. Here to kind of <laughs> do a brief little synopsis of our current read, which is God Help the Child by Toni Morrison. We wanted to kind of go over some points that we kind of had highlighted during our read and um, get you excited about the discussion on January 10th. Um, so, I guess, you know, the main character, Bride. Um, to me, Bride, well, let's just start by saying, I feel like this is one of Toni Morrison's lighter novels. Not lighter in subject matter, but lighter in terms of her writing style, you know, the depth in which she explored the characters. Um, and, uh, you know, the book is about, deals with as a whole, childhood trauma or childhood abuse and how that uh, has developed all of the characters in the book. Um, so what did you think about Bride and that character? Yeah, Bride is, well, following her evolution, you know, she, she proves herself to be a very resilient woman based on what she went through as a child, you know, and she definitely overcame, you know, significant um, challenges mm -hmm. as far as her self-confidence and her self-identity. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> I would have liked to see more dimensions to her character. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that Toni Morrison showed a few dimensions of Bright's character and personality, but I don't think it was explored or they were explored to the extent that I would have expected from a Toni Morrison book. Mm -hmm. And it left me wanting. Um, and that's kind of can kind of representative of how I feel about other characters in the book. But we'll we'll stick with Bright we'll stick with Bright for now. What do you yeah. think about Um I feel like it the her character and the issues that she was dealing with with the character, you know, her um, out of her being at a very her at a very early age being instilled with self hatred um, from her mother's treatment of her and her mother's belief that she wasn't as good as beautiful um, because of her dark skin, and I think that that is a recurring issue with you know black women. And it's being discussed with movies like Dark Girls, Light Girls. And I feel like she could have just dove a little deeper with that. Um, and I feel like Bride in general wasn't as interesting to me as some of the other characters, like Booker to me. Booker and his background and who he became mm -hmm. as a man, it just, to me, it made more sense. Like the character development made more sense to me. I agree. Um, and I felt that. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I totally agree. I think that Bride's character was somewhat, uh, somewhat one-dimensional, somewhat flat, um, especially given the topic that Toni Morrison was addressing or raising with her character and her being the primary character. You know, um, I thought that, you know, it would be more, her, her character would be more multidimensional. And as you say, I do think that um, her, the character of Booker was more layered. He probably was the most layered character in the book, mm -hmm. surprisingly. Um, yeah. You know, more so than the other woman, more so than the woman in the book, he was more, his character was more layered. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm thinking now, like, maybe that was a literary device that she used because Bride's character was a little more shallow. So mm. she uh, she developed her more shallowly to kind of reflect mm. that. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> That's a good point. I didn't think about that. But it just it left me wanting. Mm -hmm. It left me wanting. Um, because as, as Asata said, I feel like the issue of self-identity as it pertains to black woman is such a profound, multifaceted, content, you know, contentious one and there's so many layers to that topic of black beauty you know or what it means to be beautiful as a black woman and how you know what it means to feel good 
in your skin as a black woman. So I would have expected way more exploration than was paid to Bright's character. And it wasn't just Bright's character, it was, you know, the other characters, some of the other female characters in the book as well, including Bright's mother. We never okay. yeah, okay. yeah, and we don't want to give away too much, you know, but, but, um, but yeah, that was something that stood out to us both. Yeah. Um, but I think in general, like, it is, I feel like it, the theme represents uh, something that we have seen many times mm -hmm. over in Toni Morrison's work. Um, she deals with pain and trauma and how a lot of times that causes her main characters to regress in mm -hmm. different forms. And um, she explored that a little bit in the book. Um, but you know, we'll we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll talk, talk about, about it more. Yeah. And um, and I think that we'll have like several kind of offshoot topics based on some of the things that she addressed rather lightly. So um, I look forward to building with you, ladies. Likewise, likewise. <laughs> so yeah. So if you guys haven't already, you know, read the book, you do have a bit more time, a little for a week to catch up with us. But. I think <laughs> one advantage of the book, not to discredit, you know, um, what is still, you know, great writing by a really, really amazing author, but one advantage to it being a somewhat lighter <laughs> book of Toni Morrison's is that it was it was a faster read, you mm -hmm. know, it was a faster read for me, like Same here. relative to how long it usually takes to read a Toni Morrison book. And granted, the book was also smaller in size and I think average Toni Morrison book, mm -hmm. but um, but also as Sada mentioned, the content was was a bit lighter and easier to navigate. So so yeah, so that may work to your advantage as far as finishing the book um, in time for our read and time for our discussion. Yeah. So gather your thoughts and take notes and and come ready to just have a great conversation about some great literature and we can't wait to see you guys there january 10th january 10th and one more thing for those who live in atlanta if you want to be a part of the gathering the in-person gathering please be sure to email us at papyrusbookclub at gmail.com space is limited and we will be accommodating you know, everyone's requests upon a first come, first come, first come, first serve basis. So, so once again, email us and let us know that you are intent <laughs> upon coming. And we look forward to seeing you January 10th. Yes. All right. Okay. Peace. Peace <laughs>